Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you another technique for saving yourself some time in Nomad Sculpt. We're going to be creating a male and female base mesh that you can save so you can begin your sculpts without starting from scratch every time. The first thing we can do is click on that image icon and import a reference image. There we can find a turnaround like what I did off the internet and you can use that as your background. Now we have different sliders that will allow you to position it exactly the way you want as well as opacity that will allow you again to see through either the model or through the reference image and that way you can be more accurate with your sculpt. If you need to delete the reference image you just simply click on the icon and there you can delete or even rename that reference image. So with those tips I just started modeling the body using just basic shapes and the move tool and the gizmo tool primarily. We're not going after any details right now so I just focus on getting the big shapes down first. If you're new to 3D modeling, we just work with one of everything. And then later on, we can use symmetry to mirror the limbs, for example, so that it saves us again a bunch of time. And then later on, when you're doing your final sculpt, you can break symmetry so it looks more natural. But that's beyond the scope of this video. So let's continue. While sculpting, you'll also notice that I'm constantly rotating and matching the same scale of my reference. This makes it really easy for you to visualize the shape that you're going after. And remember, we're not trying to make a perfect human figure just yet, just a starting point that we can drop into future projects. Another quick tip if you're not using it already is using that cube gizmo that you find at the top. It is very useful. It helps you to align your model facing directly to the center, front, side, back, all the different ways you need without having to do it yourself manually. And this really helps when you're using a reference so that you can be sure that it's accurate. Now when it's time to get to the head, I already had created a base mesh in a previous video that you can check out that allowed me again to save a bunch of time. You will notice that it is a proportion of a child's head, but because it's so simple, it was easy for me to modify it for an adult. If you want to see how that's made, follow the link in the upper right corner. From this point forward, I just kept on modeling the various features of the face, making sure the proportions are right, and then once I was done, I just moved on to symmetry. At time of recording, Nomad Skull doesn't allow you to select multiple objects, then use a symmetry function. So you will have to select each one at a time and perform the function. Tap on symmetry and under mirroring choose left to right or right to left depending on the object that you have selected. Now you will have it mirrored. Once I was happy with my model, I saved it as its own file, then I imported it into a new file and modified it for the female base mesh. And I pretty much just changed the proportions to reflect a female's figure. Remember, do not get bogged down in details. That's not the point of this base mesh. This is just a jumping off point so that you can quickly get started on a different project when you're ready. So that's basically it. You have two base models that you can use for different projects coming up. You can start quickly and really just jump into the idea that you have in mind. One more thing to keep in mind is that when you mirror an object, it is not its own object yet. You will have to perform a split so that it will be its own object and recognized by Nomad Sculpt in that way. Then you'll be able to manipulate it independently of the mother object. So that's it for now. I hope that this gives you some idea that you can use to save some time. If you don't use these techniques exactly, at least it will get the wheels turning to see how you can be more efficient in making your art and make it more enjoyable. To my new subscribers, welcome and I hope that you're able to share these videos with those who you think may be interested in watching it. 
and to those who are new here remember to comment like share subscribe and i appreciate all the support thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video